Ambulance. Hi everybody, Vadim here again. Today I want to talk about a serious subject, the subject about sin. Sin, we're born into it. Nobody's exempt from it. Everybody that's born here on this planet has a sinful nature all the way from the beginning when the world was created after Adam and Eve sinned against God by not obeying Him, by eating of the fruit that God forbid them. So what is sin? Let's talk about it. How bad it is and what can we do about it? All right, now sin is missing the mark. And what mark is that? God's mark. Sin is disobeying God. Going against what it, whatever God says. So we are guilty before God. It's an act of offense. It's against biblical law. Biblical, the Bible is a written word from God through people, through the Holy Spirit. Now, Romans 3.23 All have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. Ten Commandments. Do you know the Ten Commandments? I'm reading an interesting book right now by Irvin Lutzer. It's called Why Holiness Matters. And he talks about the Ten Commandments. And it's a very interesting book about every single commandment, what it means to us today, and should we follow it, and how it applies to us in our lives. I recommend it. So, Ten Commandments. Do you follow? and keep them? Do you know the Ten Commandments? So through the law, we know sin. The good news is, is that once we recognize ourselves as sinners, we need only to repent, which means to agree with God, what He said was right, believe, embrace Jesus as Savior, because only He can forgive sins and sinners must repent, turn away, say, I won't be doing this anymore because God does not want me to do this because He is against it. So we must turn away from our sins and turn to God. Run away from sin, run to God. And only Jesus can save us from our sins. There is no other God's well, let's just say gods on this world that people worship. Uh, nobody died and came back to life except Jesus Christ. So, Jesus Christ was worthy to be a sacrifice before God because He lived a sinless life and died on the cross for our sins. And then was raised the third day being victorious over death. And by believing and turning to Him, we may have life and life eternal in heaven. Does that make sense? All right, how about a sin? Transgressing against God is scary. Our conscience gets seared over time and we become hard-hearted. So we become, every time we keep sinning and sinning and sinning, we become less aware of how bad the sin really is. And we start making excuses, or we just don't care anymore. And that's a bad sign. That's why we need God's law to show us and to tell us. That's why we need to read the Bible. So it only gets worse if we don't stop. Eventually, we will die. And if we die without Christ, we will go to hell. So repenting means to turn away, not do it again, turn to God today. Don't wait. Um, let's look at some examples from the Bible. Let's look at Noah's day. In Noah's time and day, people were sinful. They were just out of control. 
they just, God said, I'm going to destroy all of them. But Noah was found worthy to be saved, him and his family. So God saved Noah. I mean, what if God didn't tell Noah what to do? What if Noah didn't obey God? Then nobody would be alive today. But God saved Noah and his family uh, because Noah had the fear of God, he loved God, and he d obeyed God. And how many people were saved? Only like eight? Out of how many people? A ton of people. Look at today's world. Jesus said, in today's world, when he returns, it's going to be like the days of Noah. People eating, drinking, being merry, being happy, parties, you know, kind of like today. Look at Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah, they, cities, they were destroyed. Only Lot and his small family were survived because Lot still had the sense to follow God, to fear God, and to not go in the sins of the people. So God sent two angels to take Lot and his family out of the city. Otherwise, Lot would have been destroyed with them too. I mean, these are pure biblical examples. This is serious stuff. If you're, if you're having difficulty in life with sin, start, start fighting it. Start praying hard. Start seeking God, seeking people, seeking church. Don't do it alone. Alone is hard. It, it, you won't, there will be a small success, if, if any. We're meant for each other. We're meant for relationships. Well, that's my word for today. Um, and I hope you will listen and sense the urgency and the need to repent because Jesus is coming back soon. And we do need to be prepared and ready for his return and for his kingdom.